All right, welcome back to KM6 LYW Radio. Hey, we're going to do three cheap ham hacks. Uh, we're going to do we're going to use up stuff you've got already lying around the shack and we're going to combine them and use them in exciting new ways. We're going to do that this time on KM6 LYW Radio. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Yeah, that's, we're going to keep the bumper music short. You know, if YouTube has, has told me anything about you guys, is ham radio operators tend to have a short attention span. Now, that probably applies to everyone on YouTube, I'll, I'll be honest. So let's, uh, let's make myself a whole bunch smaller. Let's make this cool ham stuff a lot bigger so I don't occlude all of these things. All right, so we've got some radios here. We've got some cheap radios. I know you guys like this one. Uh, this one is highly underrated in, in some regards and overrated in others. The venerable Baofeng radio, we're going to actually use that today. I don't think we've messed with it this time on uh, KM6 LYW radio. I'm assuming a lot of you already have a cell phone or a mobile device for those of you in Europe. Um, I'm assuming you, you, know, you might have an HF radio or something that can listen to HF. So we've got all kinds of cool ham stuff laying around the shack here today. And we're going to see if we can do some cool tricks with this stuff. So first of all, let's start with the Baofeng radio. Let me get it on, get it on here. Um, I've got it on an APRS frequency. I know a lot of you are thinking, hey, Craig, you do data modes all the time, but the Baofeng just does voice, okay? Yeah, you're right, until we put it together with our phone. Let's connect the Baofeng to our phone and see if we can a a APRS enable a Baofeng. Now check this out. It's gonna be totally wireless. So we're gonna use uh, molecular kinetic technology. <laughs> Just sound waves. We're gonna do that with our phone here. So we're actually gonna go over to our phone, if I can get my mouse to work and run APRS Droid. Okay, and you can set this up so it's like an AFSK audio mode. And we're actually just gonna play audio out of the phone and we're gonna record it or transmit it with the Baofeng, stay with me here. And then the packet's gonna go through the ICOM 705 we got here just for proof of concept. And we're gonna see my station uh, call sign pop up on the display here. So we're gonna do that right now. So I'm going to start transmitting. Check this out. I'm gonna hold down transmit and I'm gonna press send position. All right, ready, set. Yeah, we did it. KM6 LYW radio came through um, over the Baofeng. So we've got an APRS enabled Baofeng and all we needed was a cellular telephone or mobile device and the venerable Baofeng radio. But wait, that's not all. Oh, put this guy back over here. Let's say you wanted to get into slow scan television but didn't have everything you needed to, uh, to really get into the hobby. So if you've got anything that can receive single sideband, and in this case we've got the ICOM 705 here, we're gonna use our mobile device again and we're gonna see if we can actually decode slow scan television, all right? <laughs> I've actually done this for real in the field. Again, we're gonna use a molecular acoustic coupler here. Um, let me put my phone into get an app we called Robot 36. Now go out to Google Play or Android Store, I don't know what we call that, and uh, get something called Robot 36. Fire that up and press play, and then tune your, your HF radio, your HF rig to 14.230. That's really the calling frequency for this. And then, then turn up the volume. And it looks like I just missed a... Uh, an image that went through, but don't, don't worry, I can transmit one here. You gotta turn it up kinda loud, and then also remember that, honestly, when you're talking or making noise, or if you're outside, it's, you know, the phone's gonna pick that up and kinda distort the image. All right, I paused you guys just for a second. We've got an image coming in. Oh no, he stopped it. It started. I hope you guys can hear that. I'm talking very quietly, and we're seeing if we can get an image in here. He's like an S5 coming in. And uh, if I stop making noise, the image actually comes through pretty good. All right, yeah, I let it go for just a second there, put you guys on pause, and then it just started to get a sync. Um, so I don't know what mode we're in, but we're probably getting the tail end of the image right now. Um, and I can transmit an image and put the monitor on, and you can see how it works. But you can see we've got some guy in a bow tie or something here. I don't know. This, I wasn't going to make this about slow scan television, but this is such a cool mode and you can totally send uh, or receive and send a uh, slow scan television. I've gone as far as holding up the, the phone when I'm transmitting up to the speaker mic and you can actually, someone can see the image that you transmitted. So this is full duplex slow scan television. It's pretty cool. So I'm going to pause you guys until we see the rest of this. 
All right, so this image came through. It just finished. This was CQ from WA4MB. We actually got, <laughs> using nothing more than our cellular telephone and an HF rig over here, we were able to send a or receive a slow scan image. And I'll leave it up to you as an exercise to, I don't want to look that stupid holding up a, a hand mic next to my phone and, and holding down transmit for, for 60 seconds to send an image. We'll leave that as an exercise for the viewer here. All right, so the third and final trick that we've got going here, let me uh, let me pause this. I'm gonna get rid of that. The third and final trick here, you know, I think in the thumbnail there's gonna be a picture of a nail here. Now I know this is gonna be cheap and I know this is gonna be stuff you've already got laying around the shack, but hey, maybe you can go out and invest in a nail. This is kind of a cool item too. So let's see, this uh, See, this is just like, I don't know what you call this. This is a galvanized nail. It's gotta be iron, it's gotta be steel. Um, I don't know, should I make myself a little bigger here? Um, just a nail, all right? And so, so again, this is on the cheap. This is only a couple of cents. So you guys are thinking, man, Craig, you said I didn't have to buy anything, but, but bear with me here. So what I want you to do is take this nail. Let's say you've got an HT that's plugged in all the time, like this one. Um, you know, this is usually always plugged in. It's always, always over by my easy chair. It's always in scanner mode. I'm not always transmitting on it. Um, but, you know, it doesn't always pull in those weak repeaters. Actually, it's pulling a noise right now. Uh, what you can do to fix that, um, to get even better, is take this nail and take your power cord. See this guy? Let me make myself a little smaller. And I want you to measure down about 20 inches on this power cord. I don't know, about uh, about this far. <laughs> I actually got some curly cues where I did this. You guys know where I'm going with this. And just take your, uh, I should get this on here. Just take your nail and wrap your power cord around this as many times as you can. You know, not all power cords are very long. Ever notice how power cords are getting shorter? You know, it's like stealth and inflation. Try not to double it back on itself. And what you've done here is basically built an inductor um, that's hopefully going to resonate at about 140 megahertz. This is a really awful job. Do a better job than this, okay? And this will actually resonate at about 140 megahertz and it'll in induce high impedance about 19 inches down this power cable. And I said 19 inches, because if you're on VHF, that's about the a quarter wavelength of 144 megahertz. And basically what you've done is you have built yourself, let me get back here, a half wave antenna, center fed half wave antenna, because the negative side of this, of your power cable, is actually has RF on it, typically. At least I know this one does. I do see the, like when you're receiving, you'll see the uh, the S meter go up a little bit when you put a, a choke on here. That's that's the formal name for this. And hey, if you can, if you, if you got a little, if you're like super rich and you know, or maybe you don't have a nail and maybe you want to get an RF choke, <laughs> get one of these RF chokes on, uh, on your favorite, uh, at Amazon or if you want to get a whole box of them, you know, because you're going to put these on all over around the house and just choke the crap out of that cable like this. And then you'll find out that you will actually get a center fed half wave antenna um, on your HT here if you put a choke about 19 to 20 inches down your power cord. All right, guys, we did it today. Fantastic. Uh, these are really cheap hacks. This is stuff that I actually do like when I, you know, if I'm outside and I don't have like a DigiPie on me, and this is a cheap plug for the DigiPie, it does slow scan television. But if I'm just out in the field and all I've got is a you know radio and a hand mic, I've actually done the slow scan stuff. I've actually got a QSO over slow scan, you know, with high, you know, 73. Totally cool stuff. Anyways, this has been really cheap. I know times are tough out there. I know supply chain is ridiculous. But hey, these are three simple things you can do. Uh, that are really cheap uh, to use existing stuff that, that's already lying around your, your house. Hey, thanks for hanging out here. You know, this wouldn't uh, happen if it wasn't for you guys, for the patrons. I really appreciate it. Uh, so patreon.com slash KM6LYW. Um, it gets you access to all of the early release software that we put together here, including the SD card image for the DigiPie that you see over here that's hooked up to that ICOM 705. And the DigiPie has every data mode that we talk about on this channel. Not just slow scan television, but, you know, APRS, a bulletin board packet, AX.25, FT8, uh, JSA call, all that stuff's built into that. And that's for patrons of the channel for KM6LYW Radio. So guys, thank you very much. I'll make this a little bit smaller here. Really appreciate Foo, you've been with me the longest. Steve, uh, Brian, uh, sorry I didn't expand your name this time. Uh, Jake, thank you Jake, Michael, Tony, NW2W, Christopher, Ian, Tickle, uh, Bill, Buddy Brown, Kevin King, Barry. You know, 
Someone mentioned, I think, in one of our live sets that we need a, uh, there's something called teleprompter. See, I run a Linux desktop, so I know this is pretty ghetto, me doing just putting all this stuff in VI and scrolling names here. But I think there's something called teleprompter. I'll see if I can figure that out. So whoever you were, thank you very much. I will see if I can get a teleprompter uh, software thing for Linux so we can scroll names and, and really up the production value here at KM6 LYW Radio. All right, thanks, guys. Hal Folgar, Soap Seti, Soap Seti right on. Leonard, Ish Leonard Isham, thank you. Jeremy, Wolfgang, Graham, Chris, thank you, everybody. I really appreciate it. Uh, if it wasn't for you, I'm sure this wouldn't be happening. I wouldn't have all of this junk that I could put together. You know, I might not even have this nail or, or all these chokes. If it wasn't for you guys, thank you very much. Uh, Mark, Alzeth, Scott, Craig. Hey, we've got a few Craigs now. Right on, Craig. Thanks for, for helping out with the channel. All right, speaking of Craigs, my name is Craig, and I am in cool California, and I am clear.